check engine light on only code stored is camshaft position sensor G40 open or short to plus fuel trim values these are long term in block 32 <laughs> minus 9.9 and plus 0.8 part throttle this is idle so no vacuum leaks no airflow meter issues um, the car is somewhat gutless when accelerating transmission shifts fine it's an automatic but it seems gutless and that would make sense that uh, a camshaft position sensor would cause that in terms of the symptom simply because camshaft position sensor is used for adjusting timing and if it's not getting a good timing or if it's not, if it's not taking advantage of the timing you're going to have a power uh, lack of power or a power issue uh, so we're going to check the camshaft position sensor Just want to make sure ground is good. A slightly long crank time because it's not getting a cam signal. We got a ground wire, the brown one. Zero point zero five. Left side is power. We got a 5 volt signal. Center one is supposed to be the signal wire. You can see it's stuck high. Stuck high at 12. There's a 5 volt power supply and the signal that's pulled to ground is stuck high cam sensor is behind the timing belt so we're gonna have to take the timing belt off and the sprocket the cam sprocket but we also want to see how old the belt is because we might as well do a timing belt yeah. at this time an original belt so at this point if you're not doing the whole timing belt the customer here wants the whole timing belt and water pump done uh, to save labor in the long run uh, so if you're not replacing the timing belt or the water pump or anything loosen the tensioner for sorry first crack the cam bolt loose loosen the tensioner so you get some slack take the bolt out remove the cam bolt, leave the belt on the cam sprocket, put some zip straps around it and then bungee cord it up against the hood. Once that's out of the way you can take off this black cover and take the cam uh, position sensor off. When you use a counter tool, counter hole tool here, you have to be careful because, because of the window wheel, the shutter wheel. You don't want to apply pressure against it.
18 millimeter. It's best to break this bolt loose with the camshaft gear in place. Try not to drop bolts. <clears throat> so if you were just doing the hall sensor, you would loosen the tension right here. Pull the cam off carefully. Keep the belt on the tension on the sprocket and tie it up. Tie it up with a bungee cord. Then you can get it the 13 millimeter. There's a five millimeter here. That's a shutter wheel, you gotta be careful not to bend it. And that's the key. You don't want to you don't want to lose the woodruff key. So this metal plate gets taken off anyways when you remove the water pump. So whenever you do a timing belt, it's actually not a bad idea to replace the camshaft position sensor. It's only a little bit more labor and obviously the part. Uh, but I think 90% of the timing belts that we do, we only do the belt and water pump and the tensioner camshaft position sensor we always leave alone. Again, it's all about cost efficiency for the customer. Uh, if you price them too high, uh, they'll never come in the door. If you price it too low, then they complain about all the extra cost afterwards. But if you explain it all correctly, everybody's happy. Uh, this thing here helps to in positioning it's more or less an alignment pin and have a close look at the camshaft seal crank seal replace as needed There you go, assemble and a reverse of removal. Just gotta take the pump out, new belt, tensioner, good to go.
Okay, so back together. Uh, it's just warming up right now, 57 degrees. Short term fuel trim is already bouncing, that's good. Um, we had a CAN code initially, cleared the code, no fault codes. So, should be working good. We'll leave it on temperature and fuel trim so I can monitor, monitor those. Okay, so we have our 5 volt power supply. There are five volts. The brown wire is ground, 0 0.04. The middle one is our signal. Let me just move the trigger a little bit. So you can see the big window and little windows, and DC volts averaging. Yeah, about six to seven. I remember when it was earlier when it wasn't doing anything, it was flatlined at 12 volts. So now the cam sensor is dropping, dropping that uh, voltage and giving a signal, a square wave. Working good.